I said A Knight because, A-Night. yeah. See, who is A Knight? No one knows. Chest, trace pain. Chest pain <laughs> and. Yeah, chest pain. <laughs> I guess. All right, I'm hopping off commentary. Macho Man signing out for now. Okay. Now, now this is what we've all been waiting for. Uh, we finally have a claw on each team, and uh, King James gets Gimps right away. So, it's a really good uh, start for Red Team here. But we'll see if uh, Blue Team is able to say, like, hey, yo, Adorable Knight, you're Red Team. Choose a red skin. And uh, really bring that against them. Adorable Knight trying to go low to save Trace Pain, but Trace Pain just much too low in order to be saved. And King James, uh, <laughs> SD. So, uh, if Blue Team is gonna wanna win this, they are gonna have to act more serious. Uh, King James, after getting Gimped and an SD, he was down two stocks a minute. But, uh, I mean, technically the stocks are even. So, uh, we'll see if Red Team's able to capitalize on this. Or if uh, blue team's like, you know what, we can have some low percent deaths and so much. Oh, barely missing the upstairs. But the blade beam hit him. And great edge guard by Adorable Knight. Oh, but Diddy was able to make it back. Right, um, let's see, three stocks to three, one character each at kill percent. So uh, even with King James's uh, early deaths, oh, it falls out of the first up smash, tries to punish it, and just gets hit by another. Durable <laughs> <laughs> Knight trying to get that jab up, uh, coin shuriken, but... Uh, and Trace Pain without a jump is still able to make it back. Alright, so, uh. Yeah. This can be an even game so long as Red Team gets to 2v1. And Maloney just wastes his limit there trying to get a read. Alright, guys. I figure we won't leave, uh. Fear Seal commentating alone for too long. I'm so bad at it. Not so bad. You're doing a great job, man. We appreciate you. I'm trying to get the. Okay, yep, that's it. <laughs> so that was game one right there? You USD once, you got gimped the first time. Oh, yeah. I got it. So you got gimped. Okay, okay. So from what I'm uh, taking from this banter here, uh, they got gimped. King James. <laughs> King James. Oh, not both of them. All right. Uh, yeah, King James had two ridiculously low percent deaths. But they still took. Yeah, and took they the still game? took it. Uh, so red team. I think if a Dormal Knight actually chooses a red skin, they might have a chance. That does but matter. If, yeah. If he stays the green skin then they're doomed. It's hard to play when you're not color coordinated. It, um, it makes yeah. your character a little weaker, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually something that Sakurai put in the game. Just to kind of uh, combat things like this. Like, if you choose, like, a green skin when you're red team, your damage is reduced to 0.8. But if you choose, like, the correct right, color skin... 
then it all jokes the same. aside we do have the game started here okay and uh the first time today we have a team without dlc so uh what really are you talking about oh one team without yep. dlc okay that's we, that's it's a really a uh brave choice by red team to uh not choose dlc uh, I'm unsure if Trace Bane only had the money to buy Cloud for a certain amount of games. Only the one game that he's played. Uh, but... Right. Well, in all seriousness, though, <laughs> I do like Trace Bane's uh, Marth. I was watching it earlier today, and it's a new character for him, and it's uh, it's been looking a lot better than um, I've seen in the past today, so looks like he's starting oh, to learn he it pretty well. Oh, back air. It's so scary, the tippers. You, you don't really realize it a lot of the time because you get hit by the weak part and then... Oh, Misfire just kind of screws over a door all night. I mean, it, it comes and goes. It, they give and take with the Misfires. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the fade back shield. Oh, and a great save there, hitting him out of that forward smash. And oh, and he gets his own teammate with the Doral Knight jabbing him right into that. Wow. So uh, if they're able to kill Maloney, it'll be a really even game here. And that, and there it is. Right there. All right. So uh, this game's technically starting off worse for Red Team, but looking better. Because they didn't have to rely on King James SDing. <laughs> Both King James and Trace Bane were just caught in between Cloud and Luigi there. Now Maloney went a very long time without being hit and then racks up 52% in just a matter of seconds. And I mean, Cloud in the disadvantage, look at that. And Trace Bane taking a good, uh, good punish, good chance there. Kill percent. Oh, and, and did that actually? Uh, yeah, that saved him. Got so, the coin uh, through. So low that didn't kill. Oh my goodness! And everyone is in the dark red. Um, and super interesting. It spiked him a little bit, or just super weak hit sent him down. Oh, I don't know. Okay. So everyone but Maloney dies. Just a uh, re redo over what happened last stop. Yeah. Same thing. Maloney, the last one alive, but right there. He's absolutely could die at any moment, um, but he's doing some work before he goes. And that'll be it. Those, those plumbers' heads are real strong. I love seeing Luigi use the Kindergartner. It's one of my favorite moves. It, it shouldn't work, but it does. And all of a sudden, there's just stage position is perfect for the red team. It was a mess in there. I, I don't know how intentional that was, but... It worked out for him. The Doral Knight's just doing a really great job with King James on that ledge too. Oh, yeah, he tries I mean, to get the grab release on the for the up smash, but uh, this team, ooh, the ledge trump back air is probably gonna do it after he uses jump. Okay, so it's doable for Adorable Knight. I mean, he can get both of these characters but, very well. Okay, and, there we go. Um, it's this is a bad spot uh, to yeah. be against a cloud. Yeah, cloud with limit isn't too great, but uh, it, all it takes is getting him off stage one time. So we'll see. Here. Yeah, Maloney just uh waiting to use his limit until he can get something. He hasn't thrown it out, going for a read yet. I mean, at this percent here, uh, oh, and he, oh, shield oh, oh, terrible. With the teabag. 
That's what? the worst way to go, to falling off of the stage and just nothing he can do. No, no. <laughs> it's a, almost disrespectful, but, you know, it happens. The teabag was disrespectful. That oh, wasn't yeah. almost. That was 100% yeah. disrespectful. To do that <laughs> to his fellow Reach gaming group member. But a quick oh, should, should we take days. him out for that? Uh, we'll put him on probation. Okay. Maloney is now on probation from Reach Gaming for teabagging <laughs> against his fellow TO member. 